Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cool document scanner from Brother. This is their ADS 3600W. The reason I'm showing you this is it will allow you or enable you to actually go paperless within your office or small business or even a larger business as well. This is a top end model that connects not only via USB but also allows you to connect via Ethernet and also wirelessly. It's super easy to set up. This took me about two minutes to set up, including downloading the drivers, connecting it, which I've currently done via Ethernet. I've got an Ethernet cable running up here to my switch and also installing all of the software. So it's a super quick process. And the reason I want to share this with you is nowadays we have to handle so much sort of junk mail as well as the junk mail we have to handle things like business documents, statements, invoices etc, uh, technical documents and something like this is a great way of getting those all into a digital format that is searchable as well and allowing you to get rid of all of the paper and just have an electronic searchable database of documents. It really is a fantastic machine. Now before I show you the actual machine in action I want to show you what it looks like on screen just so you can run through some of the features and specifications. So what we're looking at here is the Brother website and here you can see a picture of the ADS 3600W. You can expand open all of the paper trays, the input and the output. I'll show you that in action in a short while. It's got quite a large footprint when it's fully open so you do need a little bit of desk space for this but you can make it quite compact as well if you were just scanning sort of A4 documents. If we go down to the key features here, this does rapid double side scan, so it scans both sides of the paper at the same time, up to 50 pages per minute, and that's 100 images per minute. So if it's scanning both sides, it doesn't slow down. It works via a gigabit ethernet connection, or high speed USB 3 or wireless Wi-Fi connectivity. And you can actually mix and match 50 documents at the same time so you can have different sizes uh, embossed plastic cards and you can mix them all up and it will sort through them all as it scans it. There's also a 9.3 centimeter touch screen again I'll show you that in action in a short while. It's twain compatible as well as other drivers available works with Mac or Windows and also it comes with a really good suite of software. Uh, I'm going to show you the main brother iPrint and scan software in action in a short while. So this is really suited to maybe a shared office environment. There are other models in the range, uh, so you can sort of uh, find something to fit your budget and your needs. Here's some of the other specifications. These are all available on the Brother website. I won't go through them all, but if you do want to check out the main specifications, then please do check out the link down in the video description. Now, before I show you the scanner, properly let me just show you there are others in the range so if we go right down to this end of the range there's a portable scanner the DS620 and then you can go up to the DS720 if you want to pick up a desktop scanner those start roughly with the model ADS2100E and then you go upwards from there now let's show you a quick guide through the scanner and then I'll show you the actual software that's available so this is the scanner itself we have got input trays at the top and this can be expanded out in size uh, so this will accommodate larger sheets if you need it to. Uh, we've also got adjustment here as well so we can adjust this down in size or we can of course go up to A4 and then something that's going to be a little bit tricky for you to see but we have also got the output paper trays and these come out and they sort of concertina out the bottom of the machine to actually capture the paper that it's scanning. And then we've also got the touch screen. Again, a little bit difficult for you to see on the video, uh, but here we've got a full touch screen. Uh, we can navigate by swiping or using the little arrows. And we've got choices here to scan to the web. So you can scan to like cloud services, scan direct to your PC, uh, to a network folder. Also, we can scan to an FTP or SFTP server, to an email server, SharePoint as well. So you can pre-set up all of these SharePoints and have it automatically scanned to various machines or folders uh, on your network uh, without you having to configure everything on, on your, or to, without you having to initiate a scan on your computer. You can actually initiate the scan from the touch screen and then it will automatically sort the documents where you want them to go. 
And then we've also got uh, various apps that can be installed on here as well and scanned to USB. So we can scan direct to a USB flash drive. If at any stage you're in a folder and you want to go home, you just tap the home button. We've also got a back button and a cancel button as well. NFC contact point here, main uh, power on off button here. Round the back you've got all of the connections for USB and Ethernet and also the power supply. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the actual scanner itself. Now before I show you the software in action, let me just address you guys because this is a live broadcast. So thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I say a big hello to the first four in the live chat. So big hello to Jay Gold, uh, Rui Abru, Ahmed Al Safar, also and Joshua Yates. So big, big hello to you and big hello to all of you for tuning in. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the live chat. And if you're watching this after the live broadcast, then of course you can leave me a comment or question on the main YouTube video. So please do that, I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, so Joshua Yates says it's like a high density scanner. Uh, sort of, uh, it's got a nice resolution, you can adjust the resolution in the software. It's like a, a bulk document scanner, so you can scan occasional sheets of paper through here, or if you've got a big wedge of 50 sheets, you can put up to 50 sheets of paper in the ADF or automate document feeder, and then push the start button and it will scan it through and put it into your predetermined folder. It will also recognise bits in the document if you want it to, so it can actually recognise if it's an invoice or a quote. You can teach it to do that and sort them into specific folders. Uh, and you can also uh, actually set this up to scan to different devices on your network. So it's very, very configurable. Before I show you in action, I think we should switch over to just have a quick look at the software itself. So this is the Brother Eye Print and Scan software. You can select your machine by using the button down in the bottom right hand corner. I've already selected my one here. And you can initiate a scan by clicking the scan button. If you do this, it gives you all of your settings. So I can put documents in the scanner and then actually initiate a scan from the software. But for now, I just want to go back and actually go into machine settings. Uh, now the machine settings here, I'm not sure if this is shown on your screen. So let me just add this in so I can show you the actual machine settings. Uh, bear with me whilst I do this. So we're going to just share this with you. Bear with me. Just getting this so I can actually share this with you on the screen. So you should now be able to see the zoom that up for you so in here we can select our settings for a file we can also select our settings for OCR and also for image and email and within this window we've got all of the actual settings I showed you before it's a bit tricky to show you let's go into scan here so basically for each of those uh, different types of scanning you're going to do you can select an auto document size 24-bit color 300 by 300 dpi and how it flips the uh, double sidedness whether it's on the long edge or the short edge uh, it's very very configurable in fact let me just go back into machine scan settings and i want to show you the ocr window and from the actual software or i can actually initiate it from the scanner here so i've just got two random pieces of paper here they're both double sided both full color uh, these could be bank statements, invoices, any sort of document. You simply pop them in the top here. And I'm going to select on the scanner, instead of using the software, to scan it to the PC. Uh, I can scan it to a file. I can actually scan it to OCR, which is optical character recognition. That would make the text searchable. Uh, or I can choose to scan it to an image or to an email. Well, for this demonstration, I'm just going to select scan to file. And it comes up here, it shows me my scan actions. It's going to my Mac, it's showing me that on the screen. Uh, I can save this as a shortcut so I don't have to go through those steps again for future scans. And I could just name that scan to file or scan to my Mac. I've also got various options in here as well. So I can actually change the options again, those settings that I showed you on the screen a short while ago. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna stick with the current settings. I'm gonna tap start. And now this is initiating the scan. 
uh, on my screen here I should see a little pop-up notification which I've seen it says processing scans the documents these were two different thicknesses of paper and then within probably about five to ten seconds if you just look over here on my screen I've already got the PDF shown here and I can open this PDF and I have got the scan from that first sheet the scan from the second sheet the scan from the third sheet and the fourth sheet all scanned on my computer in full color both sides of the document uh, if I'd OCR'd it to use the optical character recognition I'd be able to actually search for keywords so when I've got all of these saved onto my computer I can actually search through them and easily find and retrieve documents if somebody asks me for a copy of an invoice copy of a contract copy of whatever document I can quickly search that on my Mac or Windows PC and then I can actually send that to them via email or I could print them out a copy if they wanted a hard copy but we live in a digital age now so we're working with files all the time and um, it's just so so convenient to be able to do this and because this is super fast let me show you that speed again because this is so so fast at scanning it's um loading this up with 50 sheets and then scanning them through is literally seconds it is it's so so quick let me just do this again so I'm going to scan to PC scan to file start wait probably five to ten seconds for it to initiate and then it will start scanning the document you ready five four there we go before I even counted down scan both sides of both documents then I'll go over to my computer again I'm going to wait for that to appear in the folder so about five seconds again open it up and again we've got all of the sheets scanned unbelievable absolutely superb very good quality scanning as well very very fast it's got sort of auto de-skew function you can put business cards into it you can even put plastic embossed cards through this as well up to a certain thickness uh, the fact that you can put a mix of different sheet sizes as well makes this a really good choice so anyway, that's pretty much it for the demonstration. I, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Let me just shut this down. Shut all of these trays down so we can compact it down to its small footprint size. It's got some weight to it, but it's nice and compact once it's all down to this sort of size. I could just open up this and then have the documents come out onto my desk. So if you've got a limited amount of space and you've got it in this sort of position, you can have them just come out onto the desk or you would have to have it facing out and just have that tray overhanging the side of your desk. But it's just a great product, really fantastic. The other ones in the range also offer up very similar functionality, albeit different speeds. Some of them aren't wireless, uh, some of them are direct connection only. This is sort of the, the ultimate uh, model because it's got all of the features. So we've got Joshua Yates saying, wow, that's so fast. I agree, super fast scanner. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, then please do drop me a comment. If you're looking to add a scanner to your small business or even a larger business, then please do check out the links down below to the Brother website. This really does mean that you can go paperless. You can get all of those paper files into a digital format, fully searchable if you need them to be, attach them to emails, scan them to the cloud, scan them across your network, all in one easy to use solution with that really intuitive touchscreen. There's links to the Brother website below and also to where you can pick up this scanner for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another one very soon.